How do I look? I think I look like I work out. The black on black is definitely not that, but whatever. Life is hard and life is not fair. And I feel like once you agree to these two facts, you become unstoppable. It becomes, it becomes much easier to live life. Like, it really does. Because all of a sudden, every problem you've ever had in your life or still have in your life can either be explained by life being hard or life being unfair. But I mean, you still do have a little bit of control, okay? You still do control something. And that is your attitude towards it all. So you can either one, cope with it in unhealthy ways in order to forget how cruel the world is, or two, you can develop resilience needed to cope with how hard life is to still have a pretty good life. If we just take the statistics and look how great life has been becoming in the last two decades, the quality of life, despite popular belief, has been skyrocketing dramatically. You know, the popular belief is that society is doomed and is getting so much worse and please take me back. You know, not even a hundred years ago, to have a running toilet in your house in a state like Kentucky, Ew. would be considered a luxury but in today's age everybody got a running toilet even people that live in kentucky and the worst part about it all is that people in kentucky have access to the internet as well and a revolution kind of happened in the 1990s okay it's these two friends okay and they had this idea to create something called a search engine a directory so that when you go on the internet you you can just type in a couple keywords and you will get a list of websites that would be an interest to you okay um it was it was going to be called a search engine it, it it didn't exist before and and before that you would have to actually know domains and stuff in order to access them and it was it was a hassle okay but the thing is though um they were going to call this company google uh, G O O G O L, and when the intern went to go trademark the word Google, he accidentally misspelled it, and uh, that company today is Google um, Alphabet, and that went on to become a conglomerate of a business to the point that they uh, they pretty much own the world at this point, and one of the things that they own is uh. <laughs> is this video sharing platform called YouTube. You're actually watching this video on that platform right now. YouTube is this amazing website that Google owns because it can be categorized as a video sharing platform, which just means that any silly willy can upload themselves recording a video and then put it on here for the masses to see. I mean, it's crazy, man. Some people went on and made super brands and millions off of this website alone and some other people some other people that live in kentucky simply simply wanted to upload themselves doing a weight loss challenge and to upload their progress onto youtube like what's the big deal you know like everybody struggles with weight food is delicious and then if somebody wants to get healthier then we should all applaud that and if that person wants to document their process and upload it onto youtube so they can get motivated and have people cheering them on what's the big deal man i mean that's kind of what happened to our girl Emberlyn reed you know she started a weight loss journey on youtube and she became so popular that youtube even offered to monetize her in the process they bought her soul because unfortunately our our girl she hasn't lost any weight but it's okay it's okay it's okay if anything she's been playing opposite day with this weight loss journey for a long 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 time it, it, it it's been one long opposite day so i'm here to ask you what is the price of your health? And ladies and gentlemen, being a police officer, your chances of dying on duty are definitely not zero. And they're also not low. But your chances of dying as a YouTuber are astronomical. 
If you want to do YouTube full time and you want to take her strategy, you got to also cut out like 10 years out of your lifespan. Especially when your whole thing is you starting a YouTube channel on a weight loss journey, but instead you doubled your weight. I mean, what started as a silly little weight loss journey turned into a cash cow producing thing for this Kentucky girl that she just can't let go of. So I'm not here to dunk on Emberlyn Reed for not losing any weight. Like, that's not my goal here. Clearly, the girl suffers from mental illness. It's obvious. What I am here to do, though, is maybe, you know, send you some wisdom. Um, I, I just can't believe that the girl has been on the internet for this long and has had peaks and ups and downs. So there was definitely times where she made a lot more money. And I, I'm just I'm just in disbelief that she never put her money into other baskets. You know, like that old saying, <laughs> don't put your eggs all in the same basket. So that this way, if you drop your basket, not all your eggs are broken. And I know it, it, it might sound like I'm completely ignorant here. Like trying to be healthy is not cheap, you well. You know, um, losing weight is hard because you got to buy better nutrition. You need a gym membership, yada, yada, this and yada, yada, that. Okay. It, it, my only comeback to that is that, you know, also being overweight is not cheap. Okay. You, you need to have the money to buy this, this food. So if, if, if you think that she didn't have any spare money to go and invest in other lucrative ideas so that she wouldn't have to continue doing this YouTube nonsense that she keeps doing every week. It's obviously killing her. But the joke that I wrote here is that we need to be investing in food companies because obviously she's putting in the overtime there and we can make a good little buck here. I think it's about time we stop donking on her for gaining all this weight and instead start giving her the props that she deserves as a creator okay say what you want the girl has been running her youtube channel for <sighs> longer than i can count honestly it's a good thing i can only count up to eight she is so good at rattling people up that a whole ecosystem started evolving around her that's how big she got no pun intended so amber i just want to let you know that you are literally a cash cow when it comes to views the second you stop posting your videos there's gonna be a handful of people that are gonna need to have to find a job for example the zachary michael guy karina kaboom beanbag in a curry oh lordy it's jordy oh megan alex is shook and whatever i like you see what i mean so my whole thing amber is that like you gotta stop turning on your camera and then looking at it and going about your day and then eating more calories than what you really said you were supposed to eat that day saying you know you need to lose weight but and this is just gonna be one cheat like stop that okay that is causing cognitive dissonance that's not healthy for you what you need to do is you need to own this so listen Amberlynn has been lying to herself on a daily basis in order to commit to this YouTube grind because she is responsible to feed all these people. They're obviously infatuated by the grind because it's not like she's out here making re like revolutionary vlogs, dude. Like she's just having a regular day where she cooks for her mom or she goes to Target. This is boring shit. The only reason they watch her is that they can see her eat more calories than what she's supposed to so they can go oh look at her doing it again my name's amber i don't know why i'm not losing weight but here you are eating a lot of food on camera and then you upload it on the internet and then you get upset when people tell you the reality of things okay this is them whoa 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 uber eats again you know amber is like a whale and they're eating the scraps off of her on the side so with that being said Girl, with the U, girl, y you need to start collecting your respect, okay? You are in charge of their rent. They are your stockholders. They rely on you to make a clown on yourself. 
so they can make a video about it later. You know that meme of the CEO that's like banging the table asking for new content ideas or for new ideas and then somebody suggests something and they throw them out the window? You need to be that CEO. And then if one of your little minions suggests a bad idea, I don't know, don't give him leaks. I need you to wake up in the morning, put on a cowboy hat, Look at your little sheriff badge and let them know that there's a new sheriff in town. No more trolling, okay? You're elevating. You're going to become the court jester. You're going to become the main act. You're going to become the piece de resistance. No more getting in front of the camera, having a full day and going, guys, I know I need to lose weight. Enough of that, okay? You're just giving yourself cognitive dissonance at this point, and that's not good for your mental. Instead, I think you should just trigger everybody by... Say some nonsense like this about how, like, instead of, like, working out going forward, you're just going to imagine yourself working out because you found this study that, that found that people that just imagine themselves working out, their muscles grew. And if you don't believe me, I'm putting the study on the screen. The people's brains would go crazy. They'd be leaving you five-page paragraphs about how you would rather think of yourself working out than actually just think about the engagement. Your channel will blow up. Another idea, another idea that you didn't ask for. You could go live a year in Tokyo because a study found out that Americans that move to Japan wind up losing a lot of weight. And then imagine all the vlogs you could make in Berlin, in Tokyo. Your audience will go international and you would make so much money. And then what are the reaction channels going to do when all your content is in Japanese? They don't speak Japanese. Just don't go to no forests. And here's the third unsolicited advice that you didn't ask for. Make a diss song about all the channels that make content about you. Like, just make a diss song calling them all haters. That would be hilarious and it would benefit the both of y'all. Like, both of your channels will start getting a lot of interactions and then... Off to Hollywood. You go. It would be new drama. People like drama. It would also be like fun banter. Now, as far as for the reaction channels go, okay, I didn't come up with this plan. You came up with this plan. This is a this is a you idea, not a my idea, okay? But what if all of you guys like came together and started a GoFundMe for Amberlyn Reed? Listen to me, okay? With a one hundred thousand dollar cash incentive, if she loses a certain weight goal. By a certain amount of time, she gets the $100,000. There are so many of you guys that I'm pretty positive if you guys all collaborated together, you could reach this goal. And then our girl will probably even start losing weight for real, for real, because she's going to have a cash incentive. This is one thing that has not been tried yet. Giving somebody a pot of gold at the end of their weight loss journey, they get this big reward full of cash. You know, I guarantee she would lose the weight in like three days if that was the case. <laughs> but... That's not healthy, right? I'm joking. That's not healthy. Don't don't lose a lot of weight in three days. What what I am saying is maybe give her like a two year time span, and then Amber. Oh my goodness, you could record yourself documenting the whole process and getting paid as you even get there. You might even make a lot more than a hundred thousand dollars. But I didn't come up with this. You came up with it. And if she fails, because let's face it, that's also a possibility. Just give the money to me. I'm just kidding. Give the money to the Ronald McDonald's house for, for children. Whoa, that was hilarious. <laughs> what, what is that guy, like a comedian or something? Hey guys, I made a mixtape for you. It's called Pop Punk for Millennials. I made him from the bottom of my heart. It's free. You should go listen to it right after you're done with this video. Don't forget to like this video. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you've never been here before, because I'm about to do a giveaway soon. I think you want to hit that bell so you can get that giveaway. Press the like button while you're at it. Watch more videos.